welcome everyone to crusader kings 3 princes of darkness a world of darkness total conversion for of course crusader kings 3 i will say up front i was incredibly unfair on the crusader kings 2 prince of darkness total conversion uh because quite simply the mods transformed ck2 in in such a way that it were it was different to what i expected mechanically it was different they created this entire world with a whole new fresh coat of paint new mechanics new characters it was it was overwhelming to be honest with you but i think that's only a testament to the modding team that they managed to transform ck2 into such a vastly different experience and from what i understand emulated it in a really really good way the reason I'm picking this up, despite the fact that I still know nothing about the World of Darkness world, is, in my opinion, Crusader Kings 3 is far easier than Crusader Kings 2, as it stands right now. Understandable, given that there is a, a load of mechanics that obviously CK2 had years to build up that CK3 hasn't yet. But CK3, in, it, in, in, its, in its design, is a bit more simplified, a bit more straightforward, a bit more user-friendly. I think that, combined with the World of Darkness world, that seems very interesting, but again, I know nothing about, probably makes it a bit more appealing to me as somebody with... with basically no connection to world of darkness right this seems like a bit more pick up and go than the ck2 mod did by the same team as well as far as i know um so let's let's just get in let's just see what we can let's see what we can do and all the i i have again a very vague knowledge of um world of darkness primarily based on the last ck2 series we did um i did a little reading around it tried to understand what was going on uh for the most part so i, I kind of have a very rough idea but i i couldn't name you know i couldn't name all the clans i don't know who any of these characters are um on the screen right now i know that last time i'm almost certain we played as a simacy uh inside the 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 voivode or the voivo voiv, voivode i don't know how you say it um this place here i'm pretty sure we actually played around the southern yeah it was somewhere around here but i don't remember precisely anyway um i'm thinking we could we could give it another go and actually i could maybe succeed this time because again i think ck3 is a lot easier to to kind of comprehend Let's take a look then. So, uh, let me go back a second to actually the, the main character screen, and I'll kind of give an overview of, of really what we've got going on. So, you do have a single start date for, for this one. Uh, that is 1230, the War of Princess. You have Emperor of the Baronies of Avalon. Um, again, I, I don't know what clan this is. I don't know who this man is. What took my attention were these two clans here, actually. So, you have uh, House Tremory. I do know something vague about these guys. They were like blood mages who wanted immortality so turned themselves into vampires but they experimented on these guys which is why these guys and these guys not very big friends with one another but these are like i believe either the newest or one of the newest vampire clans out there both of these seem really interesting to me because they they already have that kind of dynamic relationship if we're playing as a tremory the obvious goal becomes wipe out these guys and if we're playing as these guys the obvious goal to me becomes wipe out these guys uh it kind of has a little overview there can the bane of wolves lead the squabbling timothy lords against the threat of the ventru and the tremory usurpers no idea who the ventru are um are they the stylish boys i don't remember uh so either one of these seem pretty good they're also medium difficulty so i seems i I, th I think that could be an interesting start alternatively we dive in real deep and we play as a vassal under one of these guys try and take the title um which was kind of the trap i fell into in ck2 because they changed again all the mechanics in ck2 so it was a lot more complicated than your regular fabricate claims until you win um well then this is um this is a difficult choice so who else have we got then so let's take a look at mithras so what mysterious entity mithras is believed to be a literal persian and roman god oh interesting um is he a vampire uh forcing they got to rise from torpor and clean their mess oh interesting to do with the savage gangrel in wales that sounds about right rebellious outlaws in nottingham the remnants of the einhear vikings in scotland that's quite cool um we have alexander count of mersenburg okay faith is via tyrannus whatever that means via mithras code of tremory via regalis okay interesting um alexander lost everything to a conspiracy led by his own child jeffrey de temple now in exile as a shown guest of the black cross the powerful methuselah is plotting his return so methuselah is one of the really high rank vampires right i don't remember but that seems quite interesting um so we start as a very powerful vampire but we have almost nothing oh wow it's almost a new start for what uh from scratch for one of the more powerful child of ventru is methuselah like 
third generation. Because I recall, it starts with Kane, and he bit, like, the, the, the clan leaders or something like that, right? And then they went on to found their own clan. So I, I think this guy's third generation, basically. Um, that sounds like it could be really interesting. Building completely from scratch in Mersenburg. Okay, we got the Emperor of the Sea of Shadows uh, via Noctis. Faithful child of La Sombra himself is the master of the clan. So he's also Methuselah, I believe. Okay, interesting. So this is Clan La Sombra. I like the sound of this guy. This sounds awesome. Kind of a fresh slate. Really get a feeling for the mod. It says hard difficulty, but... Again, I don't know quite how much of a departure they've done. I assume the mod isn't as complex in its current position, again, as it would be in CK2. Brand of mind, the, they've had way less time to work on it. So this is... Let's, let's go for it. Let's go for this guy. The Methuselah rank. Low tier. Kind of no, no land, no influence. Perhaps they use the um, the decadent system, from what I record in CK2, to um, essentially represent that. So I'm interested in what they've done here. First thing, thank you for playing the mod. Prince of Darkness, an overhaul for the base game end to bring the world of darkness into life in Crusader Kings 3. As such, it has gameplay concepts altered and use of extensive lore in its world to propose a different experience all around. Let's talk about the main vampire mechanics. First thing I've noticed as a vampire, you're a mortal sort of. You won't die of old age or disease, but being put to the torture decapitate will still end your unlife. As such, such succession is a lesser but still present concern for you in the same vein. Marriages can't produce children, so they're mostly a political tool available to a few set religions. Religions are a core part of the gameplay, even more than CK2. Here it represents the core philosophical tenets of your character, which help him not fall to the beast. Indeed, the beast is a literal manifestation of your inner monstrosity. It's one of your worst foes, and managing your stress is paramount to not fall prey to it. That's a cool system. As that would mean your character has become a feral white, resulting in his abdication. Ten notes of your hunger, a core modifier representing your need of blood. Uh, hunger is used for many schemes and slowly replenished with active hunting, so I assume that will appear as a character modifier, like they said somewhere around here, uh, eventually. Okay. Uh, some more advanced concepts. Hit me with it. Vampires are slow at learning, learning new things. As such, you still have access to base lifestyles, but at a low rate of progression. Makes a lot of sense. You can instead choose to invest your time into disciplines, opening the powers menu for uh, opening the powers of damned for your use. Buildings represent your influence over the multi populace. That's the same as how it works in CK2. Most are capped by a stat like control. Right, and you have to choose how to proceed to balance these. The major sense of population represented by high development Dutch capitals are the biggest asset any prince can dream of. Warfare is sensibly altered with bigger emphasis on knights. The prowess of your knights can overcome a much more numerous foe, especially if composed of levies. As such, be very wary of high prowess hostile vampires. Got it. In a world full of deceits and tricks, intrigue plays a bigger role. There are new schemes to discover, some linked to your prowess, and most of the characters have secrets better left untold or used for blackmail if their religion allows it. Right, the world and its law. The world of darkness is universe running for more than 30 years now with hundreds of books and other medias covering it. The main idea is that in our world, several factions of supernaturals are interacting below the surface. I, I should mention it very briefly. I do intend to play Vampire the Masquerade um, 1 on the second channel and hopefully in, in preparation for Bloodline when that comes out. Obviously, that's obviously a, a paradox property now coming very soon. The Vampires of the Lord of Darkness are mainly a result of biblical curse against Cain, the first murderer, and a trace about their lineage to him in a system they call Generations. Dynasty Tree of Undeath has branched into several factions and the clans, each with their strength, weaknesses, and geographical power base. In Dark Ages Vampires, which we are playing now, we follow the Undead world at a crossroad of several major crises. Sack of Constantinople has happened and broken the major Canaan Empire of the time, having a ripple effect as far as France and Persia. The Church Inquisition is gathering support and information almost ready to usher the age of retribution against the cursed bloodsuckers. Right. So we know this one, we know this one. Wipe my supernatural traits and go to the character generator. Um, no, I, I don't want to wipe my traits. Let's stick as who we are. So here we go. Count Alexander, the graceful tyrant of Mersenburg. So we are Gregarious, we are Callous, we are Wrathful, we are a level 2 steward, so a thrifty clerk, we are Beautiful, we're a vampire, Ventru, right, so we're Clan Ventru then, vampire, health, godlike boost, there we are, uh, that's quite cool, Ventru, and then we got forti Fortitude advanced, got it, it's a discipline that grants kindred unearthly toughness, even to the point of resisting fire and sunlight, cool, presence advanced, presence of, is the discipline of supernatural allure and emotional manipulation, so we get prowess plus eight from that one, and then dominant, dominate advanced. So the power is called dominate presence is, is the power there. Fortitude is the power, and then advanced, I assume, means that we're like three levels into it. Interesting. Okay. Um, we are head of house Alexander. I want to actually check out house Alexander. I assume if I open the dynasty tree, it's going to be all the vampires, right? Yeah, there he is. Ventru himself. Ventru, the lord of night of clan Ventru. And I assume they've used the dynasty system to basically represent the descendants of all the vampire clans and that's quite cool isn't it 
Much nicer than CK2. So this is a fun secondary goal. It might be good to destroy the other Ventrue Methuselahs. I don't know if that's really the done thing. Um, my half-brother was murdered. So that way we ensure we're the most powerful Ventrue vampire. That seems like that could be quite a good idea. So we've actually got three child. Um, child are the, uh, the, 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 the basically the, the other vampires sired by vampires. Um, so this guy was sired by Alexander. Alexander is a child of the Ventrue clan leader because he was... Uh, side by him, obviously. Gaius Marcellus Alexander and Godfrey du Temple Lacrosse, your son and rival. There he is. Current head, I assume, of the Ventru dynasty, perhaps? I don't know quite how you would track that, but that's that's interesting. Okay. Uh, is that like a house head or something like that? Um, house head is him. Right. Okay. I'm um, just about to us a second. Head of the house. Ahead of your house and a, he a member of your family and dynasty. There it is. Got it. Dynasty head is High Lord Hardesart. Right, there you are. So we're, uh, that's quite a cool system. Actually, the, the dynasty and the kind of um, branch house system, the cadet branch in CK3 lends itself really, really well to this, doesn't it? High Lord Hardesart, the elder of the Fives of the Black Cross. So he is the leader of our clan then. Can I see what generation is? Is there a way to see that? Or do you just have to kind of know? Um... I was wondering if we could just hover over it and see, you know, like Methuselah or something like that. Um, I guess the obvious way is how many generations down is he? So, Aegemon the Last Saxon. So, he's the Methuselah because he descends directly from uh, Ventru. Right, got it. Okay, that's interesting. So, same same generation as us then. Uh, is, is that guy's father, but he's in Torpor, which is like a, like a hibernation state, essentially. Right, okay, so we're quite up there then. We're, we're basically one of the more powerful members of the dynasty. Right, where do we start then? So, first things first. In terms of actual stats, we're quite weak. But in terms of prowess, 34 is obviously very good by CK3 standards. Maybe not by vampire standards these days. We'll just take a look around and see what... So, we've got like 37, 41, 35. So, we're about average. We're, we're slightly below average, I'd argue. 37, um, Tremory, 32, 28, 26. Okay, no, I'd say we're about average then in hindsight. Oh, that's pretty good. Right. So that's good to know. We're, we're kind of on, on the level. We can't go kind of gung-ho about things. Again, bear in mind this is hard difficulties. We have to be somewhat careful about how we're heading forward here. Concubines, I guess, are a bit pointless trying to take concubines. Uh, again, like I said, marriages go for political alliance, but we can't exactly have kids. So, right. Uh, he's our son and rival, so we should deal with him as one of our first goals. Gaius Marcellius, the philosopher. What does he think of me? Um, father plus 50. Same dynasty. It's quite nice. Callus is a virtue, apparently, and he's terrified of me. Excellent. We'll never oppose this directly. He'd be a good vassal to, or someone good to bring to court. And then we have our other son, Demetrius of the Unending Feud. Wow. That's cool. Right, okay. Well, the, the big thing to check out then is going to be the lifestyle. Like they said, oh, look at this. This is a great use of the lifestyle tree, huh? So we got Diplomacy, Martial Stewardship, Intrigue, Learning, and then you've got the, the, the powers, basically. Um, so we've got Choleric. So these give murder scheme resistance. Oh, wow. They've had a lot of stuff here. Advanced celerity, advanced potence, and advanced vicissitude. Look at this. They've added so much already. I'm really impressed. Um, holy shit. Well, where do we start then? True magic is in the blood. So there's martial diplomacy trees. Um, we've got intrigue, intrigue. Learning, intrigue. Uh, so we've got prowess. So these are all prowess. Guy. Right, got it. It's come from choleric resource. Because of the powers that come from Melancholy Resource. Because of my Melancholy Focus. Interesting. Okay, I love his hair as well, by the way. That's I'm going to get one of those. Uh, what do we do for the time being? I'm thinking Obfuscate, for a start, might be a really good beginning. A way of keeping ourselves quiet, keeping our head down while we build up our power base, build up our round, build up our influence, like it said. Try and get one of those Duchy Capitals, because it made a big song and dance about how important those are. Really just keep keep low. And then what does a trait do? Uh, obfuscate advance. Paris plus eight. That's nice. Plot the gathering. Gives advantage plus five. The hostile scheme resistance seems incredible. Now, there is this concept, which uh, I didn't actually see in the options. Maybe I skipped over it by accident. Uh, the concept of diablery, um, which I can vaguely explain. It's one of the few things I actually know about the world of darkness. And that's where a vampire of a lower power can basically consume a higher generation vampire to jump to their generation so we might get eaten by our son and he will jump up to becoming a methuselah tier character if that makes sense um or, or at least that's basically as far as i remember how it works so that is something to bear in mind that we might want to keep ourselves defended from hostile plots especially if we've got like our nephew there um right next door 
Let's try and carve this ram up then. So what have we got going on here? This is just a uh, fellow vassal. Fellow vassal? We're vassalized? Oh, we bloody are. Under Anholt. Right, okay. And we're all under the fives of the Black Cross. So we are really nothing right now. So our, that's quite cool. So our first goal then should be to tidy up our realm. So rip all this stuff apart. Take over our liege. And then I guess from there, start heading out. Thuringian, Silent Fury, all of these areas. Try and swallow those up. Um, I guess not Silent Fury, seeing it's outside of our realm. But there's a lot to do here. Okay. I think I'll, I'll probably go for that. I think we'll probably go for Obfuscate to start off with. Stay out of sight. Keep our head down for a little while. Gaze to the mechanics. Build up our power base. Right. So what have we got then? House Alexander, we've taken a look at. Via Tyrannus. So, Faith, as it said, play a massive role in this. We got the sins are wrathful, consent, cynical, and compassionate. And the virtues are calm, arrogant, ambitious, zealous, and callous. Right, so we are kind of a, kind of a high society style of vampire by the sounds of it. Equal, pluralist, theocratic, and three pillars. Are the kindred faith that have the three pillars doc doctrine are considered a stray instead of hostile? Right. Oh, here you are. Characters with consensualist. Oh, this vampire feeds from the willing. This greatly complicates the masquerade. Cultist. Vampire leads a blood cult like in the ancient times. The kind worship but often sells freely to the blood of this god. Right, and familius. Vampires feeds almost exclusively from one family of a particular dynasty. May even be related to the family, or at least that's what the family thinks. So he's all shunned. Right, so any lax masquerade traits. So we, we're quite, quite tight on being careful about things. Um, thin blood is criminal. Right. Thin blood will bring about the Gehenna. Uh, so the Gehenna, obviously, end of the world. Um, sorry, let's keep reading that one first. So, Catif. Canines that do not belong to any clan. 14th generation. 15th generation. And then 16th generation is, like, basically just human at that stage, from what I understand. Okay, that's quite cool. And obviously, 16th generation is bloody ages away. So, we haven't got to worry about that one, especially for our character. Um... Characters with the white traits are criminals. Got it. So that's if we go feral. Uh, thin blood. So we've seen that one before. Diablery is criminal. Consuming the soul of another kindred is the worst ki worst crime among our kind. There you are. We got a big backstory there. So any characters with Diablerist or blood leech. So blood leech is a vampire that prefers to feed on the blood of other vampires. And Diablerist is where we, again... We, we consume the soul of another vampire to gain their power, basically. Frenzy? Um, okay, so that's white again. Blood oaths. A basis of society. Oaths of fealty should be enforced by some degree of blood vassalage, right? So they're accepted. Ghoul of vassalage is accepted. Blood sorcerer is shunned, but not criminal. Worth bearing in mind. Infernalism. What is that? Bargaining with demons, by the sounds of it. That sounds pretty good. Bali. Bloodline of vampires associated with demon worship. That sounds quite fun. Uh, that is, however, criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Lycanthropy, criminal, understandable. Magic. Oh, wow. So we could create a new faith and we could just be like, uh, demons and werewolves and vampires hand in hand forever. That's interesting. That'd be a really, really fun thing to do. Uh, when I get used to the mechanics, you know, going for like our own little thing there. That'd be phenomenal, huh? Witch hunting is criminal. Glamour is shunned. What is glamour? Um, well, supernatural like us. The fae are not like us. Not like us at all. Right. So the fae. Interesting. I don't know what the fae are. Drink not of their blood, but watch for them. They're beautiful in the wilderness. They're enchanting in their mystery. They're deadly in their war skills. Right, okay. So they're other fairies, by the sound of it. Uh, close kin saying is criminal. Got it. Wow. They've got a lot of stuff going on here. So our... So our, we are we are referred to as tyrants. That doesn't mean the, the mechanic of tyranny in-game. Because uh, we are via Tyrannus. We, we are, again, tyrants by religion. Um, so Rome is a holy site. London... Magdeburg, uh, Paris, and Burgos. Okay. That's interesting. So that's we've already got that holy site then. Wow, cool. That's that's quite good. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. I, I like the idea of being able to reform that faith and just going butt wild with it. Like di Diablery, everything's all in. Uh strict masquerade, let's go feed only from the willing. I'm interested to see what the difference between strict masquerade and lax masquerade is. Um oh so it's shunned rather than criminal. Oh wow. Feed only from the willing. That's weird. Wow, okay. Family secret. Wow, this is so strange. No masquerade. That's bizarre. Okay. Um, Diablo accepted friends is criminal. Wow, we could go butt wild with it, huh? I won't worry about that for a while. That's something for maybe a future playthrough, like fully accepted vampire faith. And then our culture is is Greek. 
So, that's just regular CK2 culture, I assume. Um, yeah, certainly seems to be... Oh, no, never mind. Dark Fanatic era has not been reached by the Greeks. Gothic Victorian era. Final Nights. So, that'd be for future installments, I assume. Maybe future bookmarks and things like that. See, 1300, 1830, and 1992. Interesting. They said that the duchy was well sought after, right? There it is. So, the county of Magdeburg. That was also the holy site. Don't forget, that is where we can potentially construct that special building. So, I wanted to have a look at the building system very briefly as well. So, right now, we're, count we're conscripting the downtrodden. Interesting. We lose prestige for that, but gain 250 levy. Now, in the original Prince of Darkness mod for CK2, levies were tiny compared to what they were in the rest of the game to kind of represent the fact that you are vampire clans you know you're not entire cities you're not entire armies you're not big empires you are just kind of vampires underground uh conscripting the downtrodden that's interesting we've got a throne room oh that's nice uh 0 0.5 prestige and then what buildings can we go for here uh blood tax gives tax open rule Popular opinion minus 10, but dread gain plus 10%. Oh, that's really cool. Force conscription gives us lower mana arms maintenance, which is really good. Control growth, it lowers itself, though. So control, as they said, is, is quite an important feature. We've got 100 right now, worth bearing in mind. We didn't really touch on that much in CK3 when we did our playthrough, because it wasn't ever really relevant, so we were just kind of subjugating people. Um, influencing the Knight's Watch, 0 0.5 tax per month, but we get Spearman Toughness plus 10%. Influencing the Underworld, so we lose 50 popular opinion. That seems massive. Wow. Um, we also gain tax and we gain skirmisher toughness. For what's in the merchants. So be very careful about how we go about things. Our popular opinion drops very fast if you're not careful. Interesting. Okay. And then we've got uh, in the cities, I assume is assassin cell there. Prowess level per... Oh, hostile scheme success chance plus five. Holy shit. Oh, interesting. I want to know what we can hold as a... What's our government type right now? Traditions. Okay, can create... Okay, uh, vulnerability to follow the traditions of Cain. Somewhat rough code of conduct, how to behave yourself. Right, okay. I want to know if we can hold, uh, temple holdings. I'll be honest, I have no idea how to find that out in CK3. Let's start then, let's actually get on with things. I think that'll do for the tutorial. We'll pick it up as we go along, I assume. The undisputed heart of Clan Ventru Germany is suddenly in the hands of Hardestat. Still, even its rule isn't unchallenged by pretenders like Julia Anastasia. And Antasia of Western Germany or by the elusive Elsa Reinega of Bavaria. To the south, the usurpers of Clan Tremory have precarious position with the vicious timacy of Eastern Europe closing fast on their strongholds. Defensive accord with the mighty Ventura is perhaps the only lifeline. Close by the lies of Alexander of Paris, the exiled Prince of France, a powerful vampire by his own right, but alone politically. Hard to stop must act quickly, quarreling, quarreling, the quarreling ambitions of his child Jürgen, destroying Yulia and Ilse's power bases and securing his eastern front without Tremory's help. Germany will be the crown jewel of Clan Ventru or Burn Trying. Well, that sounds like our goal then, huh? Decisions. We have King of Kings. If we are an independent ruler and the ram size of the Five of the Black Cross is 100 or more, you're a dynasty head and no... Oh, wow. No other Ventru than yourself can hold an empire title. We can name ourselves the... The head of Clan Venture. Okay, found a holy order. Um, you have to hold a kingdom or empire, and you have to be a devoted servant. Right. Um, strengthen our bloodline. We've seen that before. Uh, invite Het Hetarie. Oh, knights. Got it. Um, we've got convert to local culture. Go on a pilgrimage or search for a physician. How do I How do I feed? Let's go to our court a second and see if we can figure that out before I get too, too ahead of things. Right, so what have we got? Entrance, Rationalize, and Hunt. So I guess we haven't got any necessity for blood quite yet. What attributes do we utilize for the hunt? Violence, Charm, Deceit, Knowledge, or maybe I avoid hunting humans. Um, so we've got Blood Hunger is 1. We are hungry, giving us stress gain plus 5%. We've got Blood Potency 5. That's quite good. Um, Masquerade Exposure is 0 right now. We're hidden, giving 10% to stress loss, so a 5% net overall. And then Focus Reading. Um, violence, charm, deceit, or knowledge. What, basically, what do we have going for us right now? Uh, we've got seven diplomacy. And I think we'll be going quite heavily into intrigue, at least to start off with. So, I feel like charm or deceit would be the right one. I'm going to go for charm. Here we are. I convince kind to give it their blood. We become a predator siren. We seduce mortals. We get 100 melancholy, 100 sanguine, and we get one diplomacy. We gentry. Vampire dines on the blue-blooded nobility. We get one diplomacy. We get 75 gold, 150 plus prestige. What does that one give? 
Well, so that one actually just gives us bonuses. Um, cultist. Interesting. Vampire consumes blood by leading a cult. That would be interesting. That sounds really fun. Um, cultists can never reduce their masquerade exposure below suspicious. We have to be very careful. We also become a blood sorcerer. Oh. Okay. Or are we a consensualist? Can never reduce the masquerade exposure below suspicious. We gain all specs. Uh, but we only feed on the willing. I like the idea of becoming a blood cult, but it sounds like it could be quite difficult. Let's do it. Due to the inherent clan weakness, Ventru have exacting and rarefied tastes. Even when it comes to blood. What kind of blood do you seek? Uh, ASL. So what do you do for a living? What are you into? Are you a good person? Uh, only the blood of a particular gender and aged vintage will do. Who do we like to prey on? Uh, what a question. <laughs> Ah, what a question. Suitable for YouTube. Uh, young men, young women, middle-aged men, middle-aged women. Like, it's CK3. Statistically, middle-aged men is going to be the best option, right? Because when you invite commanders to the court, they are most of the time middle-aged men. I think the game is going to generate mostly middle-aged men. So I think I'm going to go for that one as just purely a metagaming safe play. Right, good. I do like praying on middle-aged men after all. Um, fantastic. And now we have a higher masquerade exposure. Yeah, we're suspicious because because of our you know because of our blood cult. That's to be expected, really. Let's get some base mechanics down. First things first. Can we declare war on a ruler? No, we do not have a cast of spell. I. Okay, Diablo rise. Mmm, tasty. Um, I don't know why I would. You're a way lower generation than me, right? Is it blood potency or the actual level, the, the generational level that changes? I honestly, don't remember. I think I have blood potency too anyway, so I wouldn't eat her. Um, vampire. She's Toriador. Different clan entirely. What are you? You're Ventra as well. So, question is, can we fabricate claims? Well, let's take a look. Um, we can. Okay, cool. So, I guess that's how we'll start things off then. The old the old fashioned way. We'll let that tick along. Uh, it seems like it's going to take quite some time. Your dinner is a lot mostly fair? Have we now? Um, perhaps if you go to the dynasty tab, genius. Uh, House Alexander. Oh, proved his true stewardship and ruling over the most powerful empire of Western Europe. But fits of anger were legendary. Oh, are we, are we the. Alexander, you know, like that, that really, uh, there's like a famous Greek Alexander, he was, he was like Alexander the Good, Alexander the Alright, something like that, is that, is that, is that us right now, I feel like I need to go look this up, uh, the Graceful Tyrant, 1170 years of age, Pussy Fair gives popular opinion plus five, I guess it's not too bad if you're gonna chunk out a bunch of those buildings, anyway, I looked it up, uh, turns out this guy is from, like, 700 BC, uh, Alexander the Great was what, like fourth century BC? I don't remember. Well, I, uh, history. I know. I know nothing about history. Here we are. Right. Let's get into things then. Firstly, let's fabricate some claims. Start pulling our. Uh, uh, start expanding our realm. I want to go too crazy on. I don't think I want to go too crazy on plotting to start off with. I feel like I want to keep my head down. I think I want to keep myself. Basically, he <laughs> says immediately starting a plot. Um, I, I want to kind of keep my head down. I want to keep. Being very careful and very slowly assimilate this round, if 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 possible. Oh, as I open my eyes in the dark, I'm immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Alexander? I sit up suddenly, completely awake. I look around for a source of an unfamiliar woman's voice, but there are only shadows. The beast offers you his blessing. Will you accept? Do you want to become a witch? Um, w witches again. Remind me. Are they not allowed? Witches. 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 Magic shunned. Witch hunting criminal. Um. Oh, so you're not allowed to uh okay okay so witch hunters are not allowed but what about what about witches though i don't know what that counts as infernalism blood sorcery uh i feel like it should be a, a witch a very obvious witch god knows i'm a witch now I'm, I'm obviously i'm not gonna say no to that that'd be madness there's a lot of faithful magistrates they're spending all our renown then okay jürgen's embrace was an uncommon one as talented as Driven Knight was given a choice between hard to start preaching the rule of kings and got some preaching the rule of God. I decided to investigate him. Um, oh, there we are. We learn of his sixth generation secret. Or 70% chance that you learn of his predator type alley cat secret. Okay. What do we get on him then? Uh, I actually don't know how we find out if we have blackmail or secrets against a character. Um... I don't think we actually got either, because it doesn't say on his page. From what I recall, it's on there anyway. More importantly, 90 gold. We, we are very poor. But we do now have the County of Mansfeld in our pocket. I think we should probably invest quite early on into maybe getting some taxes in then. Um, who are we looking at with regards to taxes? 
Uh, 0 0.2, but popular opinion minus 50. Ooh. Um, that's not bad. Low blood tax. Um, 0 0.5 per month. We get 0 0.1 minus development growth. Uh, what is our development right now? Uh, development growth 0 out of 100. Shit. Monthly growth 0. Oh, that's a bit dangerous. Uh, let's chuck you. Increase development. Yeah, no. Or maybe collect taxes. I mean, that's what he's doing right now. Let's chuck you on there. Um... Let's get you control. Oh, there's actually no loss of control right now. Dynasty is a lot of power and prosperity. Wow, they're really spending the points, aren't they? Dynasty legacies. Monthly stewardship lifestyle experience plus 10%. Probably not why what I would have invested in. Uh, that's a snake. I want to recruit a snake. Whoa. 10,000 toughness. Uh, wow, okay. Um, venture rulership and summoning the fallen can recruit earthbound demons. See, these sound really good. They sound really good, but these guys are investing into... Oh, stewardship lifestyle experience. Thanks. Michael Scott. No, not Michael Scott. Who's Michael? Uh, the science advisor at the court astrologer of Emperor Frederick II is a strange Englishman named Michael Scott. This evidently deeply learned individual is often accused of black magic since he seems to know more about the inner workings of the world than anyone should. So as you can tell, he is not possessed by any supernatural force yet. Do we attempt to grab him? And Diablo, di not Diablorize, vamp Vampirize. Uh, give, him a, give him a little sucky wucky. Uh, gold is of no concern. Uh, that's not true. Pull some strains. Spend 150 prestige. He would join our court in your small window to perform the embrace. Messing with such an individual will increase your masquerade exposure. N no. No, it's okay. I'm not interested. Just sort of curious what will happen to him. You could hunt him. <laughs> Done. I'm in. Let's eat him instead. Another one. Elizabeth of Hungary. No. But she's in our court as well. Oh, they spawn in your court. Interesting. Let's put a pin in her. Um, and then we'll put another couple of pins in her. Ha <laughs> ha. After we're done with this guy. Delegated authority. Um, that's another. Jesus, we've got more legacies already. Powerful bats slipping in plus five. I wonder if they're set to invest into certain things. Because from the very brief amount I know about House Venture, this seems very on brand so far. Ah, you track your prey, you take the first bite and they succumb to the kiss. How much blood will you drink? Take none, let them go unharmed. A little sip. Uh, take a drink, it'll weaken, but we'll be fine. Take a lot wounding them. Take it all, killing them and sating my hunger. 4% chance of the masquerade exposure increasing. We lose blood hunger hungry and gain blood hunger sainted. Sated, not sainted. Uh, you gave 500 sanguine resonance. Michael Scott dies. Goodbye, Michael Scott. I assume we got away with it. I think we got away with it. I think we- I think we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Ooh, is that another claim fabricated bollocks? How much is it? 87 gold! I can't afford it. It would be better to basically a, not do that uh, for a start. Can we get you doing something else? Religious relations? Yeah, whatever. Um, it would be better for the time being to, to fabricate one claim Go into the net, go, go into this county and allow that to also assist us in building up our taxes rather than just going and fabricating claims on everywhere. Like you probably would in CK2. Bear in mind, we can't even press multiple claims at once without the technology to do so. A tasty lady. Am I allowed to drink her, given that we said our preference was middle aged men? I don't know, but I'll take the. Uh... Oh, pinned characters still appear on the. Oh, that's quite cool on the outliner. Oh, interesting. We are married. You're right. Um, who do we marry? Uh, we should really marry somebody for what, like alliances? Uh, I don't think anybody would be tempted to marry us, though. Uh, we need like an unmarried female ruler, decently close. Oh, he's very tall. Um, decently close, close enough to be able to call into war should we need to. Well, let's go to the character finder and see what we can find. All. Diplomatic range, preferably inside. Ruler, preferably, yeah. Uh, an adult who is a lady and preferably unmarried. Here we go. My niece. Perfect. Uh, arranged marriage. Her to me. To her. She's up for it. Christ, she's really up for it. Okay. Uh, done? She's like the same rank as us, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Oh, excellent. Okay, done. Uh, yeah, tasty. Send proposal. What an alliance. And who, what's she the lord of again? Bavaria. 
Oh, that's quite a good ally to have. Air in line to inherit titles. Ooh, are we now? Duchy of Brittany. Hello. Your heir. Oh. Oh, heir in line to inherit titles. Wait, but I thought I elected myself as my heir. Um, which was something that we had the option to do. I don't know if that was just uh, the game being a little bit strange. Um, I don't know how I did it now. I could swear I had a way to elect a successor. Maybe that was just the game sorting some things out. Uh, yeah, because quite clearly our line of succession is, is this person. Let's get ourselves some knights then. 150 prestige. Let's just get him to court. Oh, thank you. 75 prestige. Appreciate that. Here we are. What do you like? 23. That'll do. That's okay. Uh, recruit to court. 50 gold. Entrance. What, what does that do? Uh, entrance. In, in I don't know what that does. Uh, to that one, you'll gain a hook. Entrance does what? Give increases opinion. Got it. Blood bond. Forces a uh, gonna gonna hook. Okay. Or Diablo rise. No, I want I want you to just 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 be here. I just want to make you uh, a commander. Mainly because I want to go to war here. Uh, your claims. Vastly inferior. We I've already checked. We have more personal combat. Bear in mind. Oh, sorry. Prowess. I should say. Bear in mind. They made a big uh, a big implication that prowess was the kind of core. Thing going on here. 523 versus 477. Elite quality versus elite quality. Select a new commander. Me. I will lead the armies. Uh as she's leading her own troops, I would assume. Well, this is gonna be interesting. You will probably lose. So much for vastly inferior. Uh mer mercenaries. Not gonna happen. Vastly inferior? Oh, because I suppose it expects me to call allies into war. Understandable. Um, we can call we would not accept. Understandable. Right. You call in house members. Call house member to war. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> ah. Help me. We're about to get clapped already. Okay. Done. Can we flee? No. Potential apartment two days. Get me out of here. There's nowhere we can run to. Uh, disband the troops. Can't disband them. Well, okay. In that case, we're going to take the commander off and replace it with Klaus. Good luck, Klaus. Klaus is going to get clapped, isn't he? Help me. Minus two. Oh! No, wait. We're... We, we are the... Oh, we're fine. We're doing an okay job. Hang on. Shit. Our levies are falling apart, but our troops are very good. Because we've got four knights versus their... Sorry, five versus their four. Our army's going to die, though. Greetings, greetings. Thank you. Oh! <gasps> I take it all back. We won. We didn't need them. Um, okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't. Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, sit, build up your power for a little bit. Reinforce. Wait for them to, to creep back over. Oh, God, they have gone miles away. Fine, got on their capital then. Sod it. Oh, look at this. Our allies are actually coming in. Wow. Genuinely quite surprised. Okay, this is a great start. Boom. Oh, 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 you gain the county of Mansfield, the barony Mansfeld, not the place in England. Barony of S S Sangerhausen. You have 15 fame and your allies share 15 fame based on their contributions. And now we are double in size and you can't even deny that. Sounds a bit more impressive than it actually is. Uh, we've got another knight turn up there. Obviously, we can't do much with that right now. Fantastic. And what's our domain limit? Two out of four. That's okay. Hey, that's good. That's quite nice. So we need to get some control over this county before we expand out. That's something I'm going to have to be very careful with in this playthrough. Uh, no valid targets. Disagree strongly. Klaus, get to work. We've got control increasing over the new province. We've got a claim fabricating on the other new province. I think, like I said, because CK3 is a bit more streamlined than CK2, upwards expansion is quite easy in CK3, and I feel like that's going to let us really springboard ourselves up here. This is going to be interesting. God knows how the hell we're going to take on the fives of the Black Cross. We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this one. Don't forget to check out the Princes of Darkness mod. Make sure you go like and favorite that over on the Steam Workshop if you are enjoying watching the content, if you're enjoying playing the content. Make sure the modders get their, get their just desserts. That's the wrong expression there, isn't it? That sounds as if we're going <laughs> to... Sounds as if we're going to teach them a lesson for all their free work. Thank you in the meantime to the coffee supporters as well for keeping the channel going, for allowing me to play video games. Thank you to 
Holy Reapers, The Dust of Time, Small Snake, Daedric Daikatana, Potarted, I Am Sagatair, Ben Henshaw, Soul and Bring, King Snitch Gaming, Salentily, and Paul Demon Boy, and Chris for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. A big thank you to all those guys for making this possible in the first place. A thank you as well to Gordy Number One, Rotten Flesh, Fernando Penner, Mohammed, Alvin Flang, Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Ginta Blade, Cyber Monkey, Astros Fan, One Two Three Four Five, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider, Two Thousand, Snow Lauga, Sweetsy, Neil M, Kato, Blue Chaos, and Zaka for their support over on Coffee as well. See you guys all tomorrow for the continued adventures of King Alexander, the graceful tyrant of Bavaria. Rick King, because we married it. We married into it. Sounds way more impressive than it actually is.